beautiful fall day, Malax, doing some smallmouth fishing. Just got out here, kind of trying to find some fish at the moment. You know, the best way to find fish when you get to big places of water you've never been before is some sort of search search bait, something moving. Um, right now I'm throwing a little swim bait, something you can cover a ton of water with, um, you know, until you find those fish. But one of my absolute favorite ways to do it is a, a finesse swim bait. Right now the one I'm throwing is a 3.3 inch uh, or 3.25 inch biospawn swim bait. I got it on an outcast tackle, golden eye swim bait head. And I, I fish them on a spinning rod, even up, even up heavy heads too, up to like half an ounce. I'm, I used to do it on a bait cast or a straight fluoro, but the lack of stretch on the long cast kind of killed me, so I've gone to braid to a leader on them. But it, it's just something I can cover a ton of water with, and it, it doesn't matter the season or the species you're fishing for. A finesse swim bait on an exposed jig head's one of the you know top ten ways to get bites, just regardless of the the season or the. There's one right there. Good spot luck. Just slow swimming that on the bottom, but um, it catches everything. Bass, walleye, pike, whatever. Um, a little swim bait on a jig head's just a killer way to get a ton of bites. That's a pretty good fish too. Uh, the size of the head and the size of the hook are the two biggest keys to the you know finesse swim bait fishing. Like I said, my setup pretty much stays exactly the same. But uh, that's a fat one, jeez. Might be close to four pounds with all that he's got in there. Uh, that's my favorite thing about the fall though. These fish get super grouped up. That's why a search bait comes in handy so well is because when you get around these fish, you're gonna catch them. Um, you can tell by his belly, they're feeding up for winter. We're gonna have ice on the lake here in a month and um, they're putting the feed bag on. Uh, when you're finesse swim bait fishing, like I said, size of head and size of hook are the two biggest keys. You need a variety of them depending on the depths you're fishing, you know. Um, spring, if I'm fishing shallow up on the flats and stuff, you know, I use an eighth ounce quite a bit. Uh, quarter ounce is probably the best all around go to size just in general. And then, you know, if I'm fishing deep water, I got three eighths and half. I can fish that out to, you know, 25 feet of water. But all the, all the golden eye swim, swim bait heads come with different size hooks in them. They got them three aught, four aught, five aught, and I'll base that to match my bait. Um, this one happens to be a three aught. It lines up real nice with the three and a quarter inch swim bait, and that's probably my number one thrown size. Day in and day out, large mouth, small mouth spots. That's just the best probably get bit combination you can have. You know, having the right size hook to match the baits is gonna make your swim bait swim better, and it's gonna make your landing percentage go up. You can't throw a big swim bait with a little hook or a, a little swim bait with a big hook. It just doesn't work out well, but as far as getting bites goes, finding fish, locating fish, that three and a quarter is really hard to beat throughout the seasons, spring, summer, fall, it doesn't matter, that in winter especially, you need to have a bait like that in your boat.